Next, even though we don't have a power pellet, let's set up the logic for if the ghost is frightened anyway. We're just going to create a function called get random direction. We're going to create a list of strings, which is sort of like an array, but a bit easier to use. Possible directions equals new list string. Then we want access to our current node controller. Oops. And now that we have that, we can basically just figure out what direction we're allowed to move in and then pick a random one. So if node controller dot can move down and movement controller dot last moving direction does not equal up then possible directions dot add down and you know where I'm going with this now alright so I just skipped ahead a little bit um, so if you need time to type that all out just hit pause we're going to create a direction variable and we are going to create a random direction index equal to random dot range. Um, we're going to start from zero to possible directions dot count minus one. So if there are, if we're able, so if we're able to go in each direction, uh, possible directions, the, the count would be four, minus one would be three. So we would be able to pick a random number between zero and three. And then we can say direction equals possible directions and access the index that is random. So if it's zero, it would be the first direction added, et cetera. Then we're gonna return direction All right, so where we call all this, if is frightened, string direction equal to get random direction, and then movement controller dot set direction, direction. All right, so now if I load back into the game and click play, oh, we are getting an error. Oh, um, get random direction should be returning a string. So let's play. All right, so red is moving towards us, but what happens if we set it to frightened? You can see it's gonna start picking random directions with no logic behind it. Okay. So now we actually have the logic handled for all of our ghosts movement, which is nice because that's one of the hardest parts of making the game. All right. So the next thing we want to do is have it so that the game manager automatically sends the ghosts out of their home without us having to check uh, to, or they're ready to leave home. So the pink ghost is going to automatically have this happen. So we're going to call um, pink ghost dot get component enemy controller dot ready to leave home equals true so now our pink will automatically leave home now with blue and orange it's slightly more complicated so blue will leave home once you've collected 30 pellets and orange will leave home once you've collected 60 pellets and then if you die uh, blue and orange will be back in the ghost house and once you come back to life blue will spawn after 12 pellets and orange will spawn after 32 pellets. So in order for us to start handling the ghosts leaving the home, we need to be able to keep track of all of our pellets. So we're going to have a function, um, public void got pellet from node controller. And we're going to have public int total pellets. We're going to have 
public int pellets left. And then public int pellets collected on this life. And we're not going to worry about this one yet because we haven't handled respawning. But essentially, we're going to, when the game first loads from our node controller, we're going to call got pellet from node controller. And we're going to say total pellets plus plus. And we're going to say pellets left plus plus. So then in our node controller, in awake, if we have a pellet, we're going to call game manager. Dot um, got pellet from node controller. So now every single one of our nodes that have a pellet is going to call this function right away and let our game manager know to increment total pellets by one. So let's test this out. We can click our game manager and then click play. And we have 290. After we've moved anyway. So then what we're going to do is on collected pellet, we're going to say total pellets, or not pellets, total pellets, uh, pellets left, minus minus. And then pellets collected on this life, plus plus. Now we're going to have int required blue pellets, int required orange pellets, and we're going to say if had death on this level, which we haven't created yet, so let's go create that, public bool had death on this level. And by default, we're going to set that to false. So if we had death on this level, required blue pellets is going to equal 12. And required orange pellets is going to equal 32. Otherwise, if it's our first time starting the level, required blue pellets is going to equal 30. And required orange pellets is going to equal 60. And then we're going to say if pellets collected on this life is greater than required blue pellets, or sorry, greater than equal to, and blue ghost dot get component enemy controller dot left home before. And we're going to put not. So basically, we're now going to create a variable in our enemy controller called left home before that's going to keep track of if our ghost has left. Um, so let's create that in our enemy controller. Public bool left home before equal to false. Um, so red is going to automatically have left home. And if we have been moving in nodes, then we're going to say left home before equals true. Okay, so now we know whether the ghost has left home before. And the reason why this is important is because um, if the ghost is respawning, we don't want to automatically make them leave home right away if we collect another pellet. So we only want to spawn them by collecting pellets if they haven't left home yet during this game. So if they haven't left home yet, then we're just going to say blue ghost dot get component enemy controller dot ready to leave home equals true. And then we're going to essentially do the exact same thing for orange. So required orange pellets uh, and orange ghost 
and orange ghost. Okay. So there's two things I want to do. I want to make sure that when we collect 30 and 60 pellets, it spawns the ghost. And I also want to make sure that all of our pellets, like there's the, the total amount of pellets, is the correct number. So right now you can see pellets collected is 4. So ideally once we get to 30, it'll spawn the blue ghost. Once we get to 60. Okay. Now I'm going to run through the entire level. And I'm going to make sure our total is right. Okay, so there's 3 left. And since we haven't deleted the pellets from here, there are 3 left. So that is actually perfect. So our total's working and we are able to spawn our ghosts now. All right, so now that our game manager knows when we've run out of pellets, we just need to get rid of the pellets that don't need to be there. Luckily, um, they're all organized into our ghost nodes. So we can just remove them very easily. And you're gonna notice if we load the game now, ideally uh, the pellets should not spawn has pellet should be set to false and the game manager will have four pellets less.